Yeah. Uh, what a wild ride. Yeah, it's also strange to see, even, you know, we're not talking OG Fnatic members, but Golden standing behind uh, Fnatic Rising in, uh, in Ukraine as well for the We Play Academy League. That's cool. What a, what a strange time we're in. Rainy's just farming. He loves an eco kill. Who doesn't? Can you blame him? Three, almost the tap. It's the Glock for Mezzi. Yeah, Fnatic had no util in that last round as well. Nothing significant. If you think back at that Na'Vi game, I think a lot of their value came from utility, really good flashbangs, especially on the CT side and taking B peaks. But when they would nice nade, uh, overwhelm that A site, often just completely ruining the, the eyesight of truck and dice players. Well, that wasn't available for Fnatic. Now it will be. They've got everything. Full rifles, a bit of utility here and there and hoping to get on this board before FaZe start to run away with their map pick. Yeah, I don't think you're massively will get out of him, but you can't forget the day one Jaquinho no. versus Na'Vi. So it is like one of these things where you've got to keep an eye on it. You've got to see what version we get in the server today. Oh dear, that's so, uh, so sad. I don't know if FaZe just never threw the molly. It seems like they didn't. Uh, they threw one deep one on party, or playground rather, but they didn't throw the first Molotov. Fnatic had a smoke for it that they lobbed from spawn. We see teams do that when they want to fake uh, that they're actually taking mid control and then going B, heavy B out of the gate. This time it is just Alex going there alone, saving his smoke for the late round. Twist has taken down Crimson. Alex has so much room, man. Look at this. What a read out of Fnatic. We saw this in the Na'Vi game as well, Harry. Rain has no idea. He He's down in connector. A B player is rotating up. Alex is stalling and he doesn't need to, but Carrigan also has no idea how close Alex is. He's checking it out though, and he does take down Alex. The read goes both ways. If Alex committed, he could have been a bank before Carrigan was out in the bomb site. Now it's a desperation play. If they push through, that could have been Olaf dead, but he's got two men on the site to swing out cover and Bowen doesn't check the corner. This one's a cleanup for FaZe, and it's five alive again versus guns. FaZe are feeling it right now. Maybe have trawled through the demos of Fnatic. We're seeing similarities from what we've already you know, seen in this tournament. One win, one loss on overpass for Fnatic. Against Na'Vi, the loss, big the win. And hell, that big uh, win, even more impressive now, considering big managed to 2-0 Na'Vi today, right? Fnatic won that series two to one. Just keeping it in mind, right? Full eco, or full pistols rather. We've got a bit of Kev, some upgrades. Fnatic. Oh, that, oh no, Rain! Dude, Rain's on and tear. Like, you, don't, King. you don't want to run into this guy today. They were going to go B. They were trying to pop short. He just knocks off the door and takes two with him. Oh, my goodness. Round's done, mate. Mezzi, how many can you get? There's oh, one. Mezzi fans. At the ready now, they're preparing the clip button. Ooh. They're saying, oh, Mezzi, we believe in our boy. But he might get shot in the back of the head. Oh, my God, Twist has given him some kind of respect here. And so Mezzi is given a second chance at this. Big rap for Rain, though. Mezzi's got some bars to spit as well. Is he ready for twist? Probably not. And so there he is, bought down still. Nice little double deagle, yeah. right? It was almost another five alive round. You really cannot afford to have so many of these go dominantly in favor of FaZe. So, you know, the damage he does there, just going to force a bit more reinvestment out. It stops this feeling like it's already too far gone. Yeah. FaZe have had three or more alive, in two of them being five alive in every round since their second pickup. So, yeah, that's why their money is really getting out of control now. They're building up some serious bank. Fnatic need to focus on breaking that. And to do so, win some rounds, get on the board. Jaquinho's AWP makes a stand, and Rain will do the same. He's been in con every round of this map. Now he's taking space up in the party. They could even flash him forward if they want him to go deeper. It's a good call for uh, FaZe, rather. Too many Fs. Two, three on this A site. The AWP takes a shot, and Brokey rotates out. Carrigan's ready to go. Here they come. And Fnatic finally clearing the position. The rain is left. Jaquino holds down Carrigan with a dry peak. Now there's still rain behind him. Does that tempt you into murky waters? Or do you just group and hit the B bomb site? You've got that pick. You know the orb was here earlier. You don't really want to feed Brokey. 
Fnatic still throw a bit of utility towards A, still try and keep this AWP in play. Rain, meanwhile, is still trying to make the flank, but unfortunately, he could get really badly timed here. If Fnatic group up B, Rain might try and flank toilets, thinking they're all inside the short area. Let's see if he makes this read, if he works out that this one's completely clear, because right now the stack is in B, FaZe seem aware. If he goes all the way around, oh my goodness, brain on Rain. Oh, but this B-hole does need to stand up. It does need oh. to hold the line. And oh, Brokey won't give it up. The no-scope connects. It's Guardian-esque. Three in the round. Mm. Beautiful. Phaser up seven and one. This is the phase I want to see. Yeah. This is the phase yeah. that the people want to see, Harry. We've been waiting for it. And we thought, hell, back on LAN, these guys, yeah, they showed it. But we've already seen the disappointments of, of LAN expectation coming back into online play. FaZe are not falling into that category. Anything but disappointing. So are we going to call FaZe Clan the people's team? The people's team, maybe. They got people in Because to be fair, yeah, twist. to be fair as well, like, you know, you know, like the, the average mindset behind like, when you're building a team, why don't you just get all the best players <laughs> and just put them in? And that was essentially what this squad tried yeah, to do originally. It's been so, forever. Yeah. Forever. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not it's not wrong. And, well, we always laughed. That never really worked, did no, it? It's not just know. about just getting as much firepower as possible. Or maybe it is. I mean, this is a nice mix, though, you know. Um, got a bit of everything in this team, Harry. Got a bit of flair. And Rain, they're so scared of Connector. As Fnatic would be executing there, you know what was happening on short? I don't know who it was, but a player it was, was Crims. Crims was just holding Con with the door off, not even looking at B as his team were dying by the second. And Rain keeps switching it up. Rain keeps some guessing. Now back on the long side. Three on A. Fnatic have not walked into an unstacked bomb site. Brokey does get tagged up. But is that going to be a problem with two more teammates here? Yeah, I'm looking at this. I'm still kind of nervous. It really oh. could get out of hand. It, it could, especially with more attention given to Short. Now, if they are over, if they overrun Brokey in the site, this could still spiral. This could still get scary. It's the lack of utility that's going to cause you problems. Oh, Brokey. Brokey dropping more out of the round, and now you've got to deal with this double short side setup. You've got to face it. You've got to fight it, and they can't get past Rain. Yeah. Him and Brokey are in this mode where they're just lights out, and you know, whoo, it's scary when one of them's like that. The fact that we got both looking this good, I don't know. It yeah. seems like a bad day to have woke up and been Fnatic. Yeah, you can't even really like put many of these rounds on Fnatic as well. Like These are just great calls also out of Carrigan. The re-aggression there, you said it on short. They found that perfect timing killing Alex. And then what that does is Fnatic, you're entering the bomb site. You're scared of those CT rotates coming up, bang, dumpster, truck, dice, all these positions. But really, the bulk of the team is on toilets. Brokey's just re yeah, He doesn't I even was... need to. The, and the, he's killing everyone. The only reason I was concerned at first was like with Brokey tagged up, if yeah. he falls and then sure. like, you know, because sometimes those guys on short also don't know the full extent of like that being just yeah. a long play once they've dealt with Alex. Well, once they clear toilets, they do. But yeah, right. And so then they get that info. Brokey's able to just take out everyone. And then you've seen the last two players. You know they're yeah. both long. Suddenly it's like all those worries I had have just dissipated and Rain's killing everybody. And This is a good change though for Fnatic. Now they've done a more like split default. They've got that con control that's proven to be a problem. They've got a bit of B, uh, you know, info as well from Mezzi. And they're doing a classic walking through this toilet smoke with a flashbang this time. It's not contact. And so Fnatic, you know, face try and get information, try and make more of these reads. Fnatic are here to stop. Mezzi and Crims both waiting for that. Now, it still could get weird. And it's still a stack on the right side for FaZe. Fnatic went 8-1 down versus Na'Vi, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Then ended up like, you know, it was there that they made their yeah. stand and actually <gasps> made it a really close game. So let's see, maybe they just don't start playing till it gets to 8-1. Or is this going to be even more dominant a lead than what Na'Vi were able to muster? Nice. There's a trade for Crims. Right now, Carrigan is alone in this A bomb site, but the bomb's going back down. Con, it's going to join up with Mezzi outside of B. That's because they can hear Carrigan in rotation. Oh, but look, he didn't commit. He's gone back down. He fakes the rotate. And so Carrigan nails Crims. Olaf 
never even actually left oh. this B-bomb site, and so they're not ready for <laughs> Twist to lines them up, knocks them down. Yeah. You saw that they heard a guy rotated up to A, they kill Olaf in heaven, they go, well, that's it, that's the B player, yeah. let's go, boys. That's like the other round oh. where they killed Carrigan on, on toilets, and they go, nice, and we got the AWP off the site, we got the toilet paper player pushed toilet up. Paper. Toilet paper, that's we a commodity as well, no. rarity. Yeah, we got the toilet player pushed up, and then they swing into sight, and Rain's there as well. He's like, what, the third man? Why, why is there always a third man? Why can we never get the right read? Great little fake out for Olaf. Twist with a nasty double down lower as well. And yeah, Olaf may die there, may look silly, but like he sets Twist up for that round. Twist actually knows where they're coming from and he has the timing there perfect. So yeah, this is a great CT side out of FaZe Clan, right? Same default or similar at least. No, it is the exact same, the 3 one, one. Rain's back in con. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, no, Alex tries to, uh, tries to jump peek mid. Mate, this is one of these games where if you're yeah. fanatic, you're like, well... <laughs> We can't seem to do anything right. They tried to and avoid the orb. Yeah, and you know, with Brokey and Rain just having life game right now, like, yeah. ooh, ooh, it's not going to be easy. Even as you try to take this mid control, even though Brokey has given you some room in the ooh. rare merciful showing, right? It's not that much because in reality, Rain is waiting down here in con to try and late peek in. <gasps> My God, he's oh. taking it wide. Rain, yeah, that's a little bit weird there. Tries to just walk mm. out. Make the crossing happen, maybe thinking that Fnatic were going to be a little bit more respectful in the middle. That's not the case. Yeah, they just contacted out where they already lost a kill to the orb, so you wouldn't expect Fnatic to just walk their way through the toilets. Brokey, that's a six shot. Olaf gets a double. Giacchino in a clutch, a one on four, and he can't do it. Olaf with one and three in the round, 10 for phase. And yeah, that's, that's like, it's funny. Rain makes that one weird play and it literally does not matter. No. Anything again, it's like information. <laughs> all right, they're all in toilets. Come on, A. Good luck, boys. Brokey just hitting bangers left and right. Dude, I I'm so relieved, like, because, oh, dude, throughout this entire phase squad's history, no matter what iteration of the team you've had, you've always gone, mate, like, everyone in it is so good. Like, yeah. how aren't they winning? You know, like, that's, that's what it's felt like. And, well, this is one of these games where when they are all feeling it, when they are all looking at their prime, these are the kind of games they're able to give us, and it's terrifying. As you say, Rain died there, and it didn't even seem to matter. This time he won't die or get out alive, at least for now. Yeah, the yeah, you say that. a, yeah, that's a quick pop over the top for Giacchino, and Alex does get on the board, get a gun, drop down, and they're going to be able to pick it up. Brokey, almost the collat. He still grabs one. They're up close. Brokey with a missed shot. It's rare, and Alex takes him down. However, Carrigan has been dispatched as that third man to always keep you believing for phase. Three kills. Where's that long guy gone? Mezzi. Not today. Oh, These have been good. Carrigan's better. It's uh, FaZe woke up on the right side of bed. These headshots for everyone right now coming in. Bro, if they can give us this, but all the time, <laughs> best in the world. Well, like, that's that's damn. the problem with any team. Right? That's a problem with... You can see anyone have life game. Game of life, map of life. Bro, but... this is this is just beautiful. Like, you know, and Carrigan's showing, like, he, he's kind of like the brick wall of this team, yeah. right? Like, you know, he, he's not the guy who's going to go seeking anything wild, uh, not on CT sides at least, but when it comes to just holding the fort and doing what has to be done, God, he makes it look good. Don't he just... Ironically, then T side, then he will go running at you. Oh, <laughs> Make yeah. the wildest things happen. So I don't know how much T side there's going to be to see no, from Faze right? yeah. if this keeps up. Harry Rain. Oh, that's a flash pilot. He just sits in it. <laughs> he just sits in the flash. All right, let's see if it matters. Brokey, he knows what they like to do. They've already gone through and Crims grabs the headshot. Now Faze is starting to get a little bit audacious. Carrigan in the open. Surely not. He gets back to the site. How long can he really last, though? Just making use of Util. Trying to buy time. He gets a dink. Dead to Crims, so he's on a double. And make that three for Crims. The hat trick is there. And now Olaf, Olaf Conrad. is here. Olaf Conrad, but Olaf is also getting Conrad by Messi. It's a double Conrap surprise. Everyone's <laughs> favorite. But it's Olaf. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Hello, hello. Oh my God, he also heard the guy on short. And right now he knows he's hit this like incredible timing. Olaf is, oh, oh. 
Oh. Takes out the first. He knows about the toilets player. So there's the turnaround. Mezzi still a long way away. Was all the way down in con. It's Crims that he doesn't know about. He's wrapping him through toilets. Fast in the back. Olaf shouldn't be ready for it. He's getting spammed. And so Crims yeah. is the man to bring Olaf down. Four for Crims. Massive, right? All the openers. And then, like, that got weird. Olaf was trying to stick the bomb for a second until he got tagged through the smoke. And, yeah, no, late delay play, right? Oh, here we This is a good way of looking at it, bro. He coming through that smoke. One player already passed him. Yeah, I, there's one tendency that's just been consistent from Fnatic is they just don't care about the toilet smoke. They will walk through it always. And, uh, and, and you know, now we're starting to see people already get aware of that. FaZe almost went the round from a three on five. But Fnatic, okay, this is good. Get something. Show us four. Give us, uh, you know, something to lean on in their CT half. Lock and a pistol, and suddenly it's great. You know, Fnat Fnatic CT on this map has been really good as well. I think they went 10-1 up on CT against Big in the second half. They just would not let them in. So, uh, you know, buy some, buy some room here if you can get it. Quick into B. Here comes Brolin. Yeah, he's in. And around the pillar, Twist getting sh Ooh, Brolin holds Mouse one and makes it work. Crim's going to follow up. And so Fnatic might be able to grind their way right back in here at the end of this first half with four rounds. You've still oh, got to win this versus Brokey, though. It was the three on one. The only IHP player now removed and Brokey, he is a bit of a clutcher. You know, I don't want to have to say it. I don't want to have to uh, put any doubt on this one for Fnatic, but this guy is good in these clutch situations. Now, a lot of time is ticked off this bomb and as he creeps oh, forward, uh, yeah, ah! he knows now that this one is a little too far gone. He's out of there. Fnatic get a third. Just by playing the numbers, they, they really keep that one safe, right? Once they lose that first player, no one's rushing to fight Brokey. If they were, you know, that's how you give him the round. Yeah, Fnatic are taking them away, though. Last couple in their pocket. And hey, we've needed Swedish heroes to get us there. Brolin with that double spray, if you want to call it that. And Crims with the quad kill in the previous round as well. So Fnatic. At least getting something here. That's better than nothing, Harry, safe to say. Wow, yeah. I am an expert true, yeah. in things. Yeah, like some things versus nothing, yeah. right? Uh, that's what my thesis is on. 11 to 3. All right, 4 is fine. 4 and a pistol. Suddenly, it's uh, grind time. But right now, FaZe are not looking to give you room. There's the molly down middle that has really not been apparent in the CT side. FaZe haven't needed to deny map control for Fnatic. They just slip the knife in the back or make a read and put three on eight. Well. While you've been writing your theses, Rain's been honking like geeses. Here he is. Oh, here's the first. Making a double. Rain causing trouble onto the AK. And still willing to fight for toilets. Control. He's got Brokey backing him up. But, oh. Crims will trade one of these out. He's had to have this late game activation to give Fnatic any type of chance. Yeah, like you're still walking through toilet smokes. I don't know. I feel like that one's, uh, you, you've run out of time for that to work. You've done it too much in the three maps you've played. Oh my goodness, Shaquino, that's more like it. Probably doesn't even know he hit the second until the flash fades. Now Fnatic hold off two on two. Twist in the back of the bomb site, buying time for Olaf on the long wrap, and it's a long wrap all right. Crims, they've got Molotovs. They could force Twist out of position, but any hesitation here, and Olaf is going to be ready to cut them on the cross. Twist just lives, and that might be fine. Oh, he's gone back. He's doubled into the A site. Luckily enough, Olaf is here to end the round. Yeah, Olaf could be that guy. He could be. Woo! But Crims... Willing to remove him, able to do so. Leaves it all on twists. Jaquino's planted a truck, a 1v1 versus the headshot king of NA. Oh, he doesn't know. Twist has got to piece this one together. And stat, he's seen him now. He's seen Jaquino, who drops off the truck oh. and can't find him on the swing. It's a 1v2 for Twist to salvage. 12 rounds there for the phase. Phase have got to be feeling it. No way they are worried about any potential comeback in this map. And to think it's not even their pick as well. We have Mirage coming up. How quick w will it be though? How soon will we get their phase? Might want to make it a quick affair set towards B with everyone except Rain. 
He's got Util to throw A, but he might just drop back and save it for the Execute. Talk of Execute, Fnatic will deliver one the way of Twist. Pushed up with a flashbang and they evade capture. Already rotating heavy A as off phase. They've lost their map control and so they go elsewhere. Oh my god, look at the stack. They're going in to the numbers. Oh, oh Ooh. my goodness, Olaf with the turn. Now there's a lot of dudes at Dumpster, but Olaf is the guy looking to put them in trash cans. Oh, they were all reloading there. If Olaf ah! did go through, maybe. Oh. Instead, he's waited on the lip of this smoke spam coming in, and he's dead to Crims. Kind of heartbreaking because Olaf was about to push the smoke as uh, the, the one guy who wasn't reloading, I think it was, was it Crims or Mezzi, had pushed in. Yeah. And, uh, and the other two guys at Dumpster were both getting reloads off, but... Olaf decides, like, no, I'm going to play it yeah. safe. I don't want to just throw this kill away. His teammate on the site, I don't think realized they could just walk up on him, right? I think they were expecting a little more respect from Fnatic, but none of that in that pistol, and that's nice for Fnatic, right? The flash play onto short. They get the info, it's just twist, and at that point they go, yeah, let's, let's gamble, let's lead A. Perfect read, perfect play, and even with the headshots coming in for phase, it's a stolen pistol round. Deegs out for the boys. All my homies love Deegs. No armor behind it. FaZe won't go for the force that Fnatic did and even won it on that T-half. They instead just want to keep it nice and clean. Worst case, they buy next. Best case. Oof. They win this. Roland won't let that happen, though. Taking down Rain. Even though Jaquino got spammed, he'll make it back to the site. Messi doesn't need to worry about players walking up on him. Not with Brolin in the toilet. Faye's going to try and hound him down before they commit. This is a gnarly little double setup over here at Long. Right, it's a bit of a bait and switch. You're definitely going to discount a guy like Messi once you've already fought Brolin here. Good thing we didn't even mention it because yeah. they're leaving. Mention what? Faye's taking their time, but eventually we'll just be walking into the four-man hold. It's three right now, one's in heaven, but pretty much as good as it gets. Chiquinho starting. With the smoke up close lets Faze get a bit a bit more room. They run up into the bomb side. Chiquinho almost dead. One more deep shot ought to do it, but I don't know if they've got it in them. Yes, they do. Broken with a headshot and Brolin with a clean up four from him off the FAMAS. Confidence boosting kills, right? Having a, a bit of a slow game. Had that one impact round getting picks into B. Otherwise, been fairly quiet for Brolin. So that could be warming you back in. Fnatic certainly hope so as they find five, knowing Faze will now buy. Yeah, early attempt at this mid control, but I'm imagining FaZe are going to want to take short B away from Fnatic. If you've ever watched Carrigan's YouTube videos, which I definitely recommend, he does like player comms as well as, you know, like tips and tricks and whatnot. Tricks is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. It's not like Advice. 2013, like Xbox video coming out. <laughs> yeah, guys, welcome to my tips and tricks video. I'm Carrigan. Uh, from Here, the FaZe Clan. <laughs> Here's two 360 no-scope lineups <laughs> on uh, DE underscore Rust. It's a little uh, known fact that when you go up the ladder, if you YY into a fakey fakey, that is how you can actually <laughs> nail the shot with 100% accuracy. Check this final kill cam real quick. <laughs> and don't forget to uh, hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. But as I was saying, right, his whole philosophy about overpasses yeah. is that this, uh, this short area, he says, is one of the most important bits of map control to have. It's why on the CT side, we saw for, uh, we saw FaZe taking it away a lot of the time, especially with the with the aggression that Rain was able to bring to the table over in Con. That definitely helped these short holds. 
That molly Ooh. makes things awkward for the long players. It also burns Brolin forward and twists Rex. And Messi's got to make a stand in the site. But if there was a player for the job, if he can buy time for this rap from Alex to find success, um. especially with Crims here Whoa. as well, this is all getting out of hand. It's flanks on flanks. The Fnatic are on their way to round number six. Oh, beautiful flash paint. Crims is just peppering them up on the bomb site while Messi and Alex fire through as well. And um, FaZe, they didn't know they were just trapped into A right there. That flash at the end just seals the deal, seals FaZe's fate. And even though they storm up into that A-bomb site, Fnatic give them no respect. Maybe there's a bit of a game in here after all, Harry. Maybe we just had to crack the egg or something. I oh, don't start talking about eggs again, yeah, man. Yeah, no, I won't. I'll, I'll lean away. 12-6. Baby steps for Fnatic. Oh, another good flash. Brolin just swings in wide, full commit to take down Carrigan, and unfortunately, Twist can't trade that kill. Brolin gets out scot free. That doesn't give them a gun either. Brolin, you can spam this position with a deagle. You may as well if you're phased, but they don't want to give away the fact that they are close up in toilets. Well. Fnatic oh, soon to know. Still, oh, you know, Brolin, now they know spam. he's here. Now's the time to spam yeah. it, but... Come on. One Some, more. Someone... Oh. Yeah! Rain with a little jump spot over the top. You know, that was probably the hardest time to have spammed him out, but they do manage it. You know the bug where you're like floating in the sky and you can see over roofs and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll walk around in my matchmaking game. I'll tell you guys where they are. Um, I would never do that. No, no exactly. I, I know like, the bug. Um, I know the bug. That's it. No, no, don't even try. It's I don't want to. It's a cheap shot. It's a cheap shot. I mean, you're the, you're the I'm one. I'm making a point. Yeah, sorry. Rain does that on manual mode. Forget it. It's over. So is the round. Crims has locked it down on B. Ooh, nice. Nice eagle. Oh, the brokey Koki. He's going <laughs> to get the bomb down, but that's the extent of it. Oh, nice. So, oh. Fnatic, they are yeah. making this interesting. you got to give it to them. They're, they're never feeling like they're out of a game. They're never out with a chance of at least making it competitive. But is that all this is going to be, right? Yeah. Is this one of these situations where, much like Na'Vi on day one, we say, oh, it was a nice try at the comeback. If only they'd got a couple more rounds <laughs> in that first half of play. Or are they able to do something with it this time around? These are the questions that only time can answer, Harry. We have to see what FaZe have to show us on this T side. They look very ready for this map in the first half. And so, what strats do they want to show now? Moving towards B, setting up the nade stack. No one's here. Nothing will come of this. But it's always worth a shot. And they're going to time it. Instead of with a flash, they're going to time it with their teammates coming out from short tunnel as well. Knowing that if anyone did get dunked there, there's no way they'd win that fight. Rain here now contacted the B-Shore leg. But it's Alex with the headshot. Gets back out alive as well. Giacchino, Orpic Monster drops the bomb and Alex comes in for more. Ten bullets. Well, it doesn't matter. Carrigan just taps him out. And now FaZe just trying to dig out of themselves out of this hole. Giacchino is holding on to the bomb and Olaf cannot find a clear shot. Not yet at least. How quick is this orb? This could be a lineup if you ain't careful. It's orb. Oh, great. Oh, nice try. No matter, Jaquino nails the, uh, the second man in, Olaf. Oh, down to Carrigan's getting wrapped on the short side. Brolin is about to end it. Nah, Jaquino's going to beat him to it. And all right, Fnatic, all right. You've got our attention now, right? This was... Yeah. Uh, this was a crazy dominant first half of phase, and now, you know, they're struggling to even put a round on the board, Hugo. That much is true. Brokey's on a deagle. Doesn't even have the AWP here as we get into another buy round for phase. Chiquinho's hitting shots as well. I like that bait idea for Carrigan, right, to force the bullet out of the orc, but. Still going to be a quick second shot to Olaf. More nades, just do until they work. Set a precedent. At the worst case, you know Fnatic are going to be terrified of boosting up the prospect of that nade. 
Oh, Molly tickles the feet of rain. Quick exit, no smoke needed. Yeah, straight in and all oh, the trades are good. Finally something, but oh, Alex oh, yeah. gets them all gone. It's nine on the board for Fnatic, four for Alex. And a beautiful little org spray down there to find that. Oh, that's so big, man. They were yeah. finally able to trade some of these B entries. The pace was getting picked up. They're about to run him down. Experienced players inside of this team. Deagle's out again for FaZe. They run connector and Roland's got an orb as well. He wants to show Alex what he can do with it. Down to two though. We got Molotov for Olaf. Maybe he can burn out Brolin. He tries to escape instead through short as FaZe get up very quick on this A side. Jaquina Bryan did. He had to hit that or it would have been a free orb for Carrigan. Not today. Five on two and this eco is basically done. Unless we see some horrendous headshots here from FaZe. Expect to see Fnatic on double digits and suddenly, Harry, we get a little bit more worried for the FaZe clan. More excited though for Fnatic and this series in general. Yeah. I was so worried that, you know, this was just going to be a stomp. And it's anything but Fnatic. Crazy resilience demonstrated in this competition so far. Yes. And hell man, now that they're up to 10, I don't know what to tell you. This this comeback is well and truly underway. Yeah, the resilience is a great point, right? Like you said earlier, they did this against Narby. They were 8-1 down. That was a 10-5 first half. They come back and make it overtime. Yeah, they lose it. But for a debut, for, a, for an opening game, going down 8-1 and still having the, the you know, Gajonas to pull that one back against number one, like that's super impressive. So, yeah, you've got to give it to Fnatic. However, will it all be for nothing, Harry? That's in the back of your mind as well. Will FaZe finally find fo a footing and form? Or will it be an F for them instead? We'll see what the teacher says. Yeah, quick reminder, just in case you, you've only just tuned in and you're thinking, oh, wow, you know, it's cool to see my favorite team, FaZe Clan, you know, longing it out versus a competitive fanatic. No, it was 12-3 at the half. Yeah. So uh, actually... Maybe if you left the half time, yeah. you would have left happy. But uh, yeah. the people's team... And well, we know one thing about people, Harry, they're always a disappointment. Yeah, you, you can never trust the people, damn it. <laughs> oh. Just get the best players, lol. Yeah. Just get more firepower, guys. From people to sheeple real quick. That's a nice spam for Carrigan. He does get a Molotov to push Alex into his crosshair. And they also, if that doesn't come through, you want him to walk into the boost. He doesn't, though. Rain flash bit for twist, but they're inside the toilets of Brolin on the smoke fade. Takes him down. Alex caught looking the wrong way. That might get phased into this B bomb site. There's no one here right now. Just that graffiti orb that could get smoked off. Nothing right now, just default smokes coming in. So crossing and Jaquino denies. The bomb out monster means you can get a bomb plant and you know, there's no real reason for Olaf to make a play here. Just play for the round. Jaquino now looking for a second as Carrigan takes water. Bomb planted, good grenade though. Oh, double down, Carrigan has to hit that because Brokey's gone from the site. Too much utility in his face. Olaf's here to win the round. Carrigan has just got to soften them up. Yeah, how much can Carrigan do? Bombs play for Olaf. He can afford to just back Ooh. off and play the post plant, but instead he's fighting, and that's going nice. to make them discount Carrigan a little more, leaving Crimson Olaf once oh, again. These two it. eternally locked in 1v1s, and Olaf's hit the timing. Crimson is a dead man. And so finally, FaZe are able to break this seven round streak that Fnatic were on. And they come in with their first T side round. Yeah, really nice play from Carrigan and Olaf there, right? Carrigan not only getting the entry and then moving into pit, following up onto the orb uh, when Chiquinho looked away, but even then, with Olaf playing off the back of him, moving actually through that short smoke that goes a bit deep, like whatever, not going to worry too much about the smoke. It just goes in. Olaf doesn't care about it. And they're just able to trade really well, even getting behind the pillar in the 1v1. Last thing Crim's expected. And you think you know someone, man. And then they do you like that. 13 to 10. A chance for FaZe to break this streak that Fnatic have found on the CT side. Seven in a row now gone. And so will that be enough for FaZe to find their second wind? Hmm. 
That's the thing about wind, Hugo. Yeah. It's always blowing. <laughs> That's right? true. I have heard that. But Chiquinho. Yeah, it's him. Blowing them away. Blowing them away, yeah. Thank you, Hugo. Oh, Make it another. Two. Giacchino, any more? Any more from the man? He's got support now as well. Tucked in his brain. Ah! Giacchino is blind. However, they might not be ready for this guy tucked in again at the divider. Oh, and Alex is even no pincering Khan. Is he going to try and rain phase? <laughs> Hell yeah, he is. Oh, oh, the timing on that, the misdirection, Beautiful. smoke and mirrors over in middle. Yeah. Olaf Meister, he's got to be the King Wizard. <laughs> this is not time, Harry, for these spells. Back to the cauldron with you. I presume that's where they sleep. Maybe they empty it out after. They sleep in the cauldron. Yeah, after working hours, you know. Oh, it's going to be a sleepy round here for Olaf, and he might actually not get to save as well. Backing up into Alex, who's come up connector. Olaf gets one health. The old 99 in one for Alex. Yes, indeed. Don't fall down the ladder. And so he shall not. That being said, Fnatic, hell, they lose one, and they immediately respond, getting oh. back on the... Okay. That's a sick nade. How's that happen? <laughs> I was looking away. I was like, yeah, it's done. Surely won't nade round the corner. Roland's got the, the, the Pythagoras in the bag, yeah. man. Oh, dude, the 99 and 1, that's so painful. 99 and 1, mate, but that's just Brolin, mate. Like, Pythagorasaurus on this yeah. guy. Like, jeez. <laughs> Ooh, makes Olaf extinct. And now, just pistols. Deeg's out. Bye-bye to Carrigan. It means Twist is alone in middle. We don't have anyone to flash them up con, so Twist has to clear it for them instead. Faye sending out the Seekers. Looking for anything, looking for whatever they can find. But you're not really expecting a round out of this one. The gap is closing. The door is shutting on Faye's. Someone needs to call a lockpick. I mean, a lockpick is the device that you use, right? Like, you can't ring that. That would be like ringing the paperclip on work. Okay, fine. A lockpicker, Harry. No, a locksmith, I think, is the word yeah, you're the looking one. for, Sorry. right? Uh, yeah, I just have my keys. I don't know. <laughs> From keys to deeds, and they're looking to open up the round. Giacchino naded out, but Alex and Messi are still here, and you don't get worried yet. I'm imagining like like, it's like it, Elder Harry. Scrolls Skyrim, right? And you're it now. Broke, we haven't had much T side orb, right? The money's not really been there. He's had the eagle in some gun rounds. So, yeah, one of the uh, first orbs in play in the second half. And Giacchino, yeah, he's he's had a good game here. You can't you can't say much about uh, you know against it. He's hit the shots he needs to up on this A site. Of course, nothing was working T side for anyone. And so Brokey really needs to show how this T-side orb does it. Roland, different spot every round. Now he's up fighting deep mid. This is a, a weird off angle, but no one's going to see it. He's got his back covered by Giacchino. Easy kill, getting back now. FaZe, they didn't use a flash on that one, and they're going to come to regret it. A man down with Mezzi and Connector. Oh, and that's really awkward for Rain. Uh, you know, I think e even though he's still top of the board for FaZe, you want to look at someone who's had real diminishing returns here. It's it's him. Uh, so many of these opening duels are being found on the back of Rain in the first half. And now, uh, now that this comeback's on the way, uh, I can't think of the last time he won an opening fight. And so you're lacking that ability to, you know, ever pry this defense open. Fnatic are about to tie this game up. Oh, Messi no. waiting in Khan, dink onto Olaf. He's eating magnets today and he keeps just taking these headshots in his stride. The AWP now, the only thing he wants to get out of the round, but he's not going to be able to do it. Look at this. Horrible angle from Brolin. And Fnatic, they tie this game up now at 13-13 from a 12-3 half. Like we all expected. Are you, are you telling me you didn't think this was going to happen? Come on, guys, get a grip. Oh my goodness, they've done it before. They'll do it again against Na'Vi, against Big, the same solid CT side of Overpass Fnatic. Someone needs to figure them out. Certainly running out of time if you're phase trying to do exactly that. And yeah, the stress is coming through. Remember when Twist was yelling, screaming? Well, now he's just punching his desk. 
Double mollies into middle. Fnatic denying that early control. We got Julies. Is that even on purpose? I don't know. Against armored players, against real guns. It's easy now, Harry, because, you know, I laugh at this on a pistol round. Now I can really laugh at this. There's no way I could possibly eat my words in this round. I'm all full. Mate, I... Yeah, I I'm, I used to like be hopeful that the duelies would do anything, <laughs> and I just hate them now. Like yeah, I see them, I'm glad I, I've and passed I, it along. And I physically recoil, much like these things do. By the way, yeah, like, nice. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Look, he's going to boost up his teammate with the AK and rain oh. dead again on the open. Yeah, that doesn't but... count. He was ten health. That doesn't count. We don't count that. Yeah, um... any gun would have done it. Well, <laughs> you know, he did get the kill, Hugo. Sure. So sure. what do you know? Uh, nothing clearly. But he's dead, Harry, so we'll never get to see more of that. Quick trade off the orb. Chiquinho, maybe not ready for more control at long, but brokey has gone to grab the gun and... Oh, Chiquinho is spotted. He's still standing, though. Does he have a flash? Oh, he just goes back in on the angle. He, now he has nothing. No teammate, no support. Rotates up from CT. Chiquinho with a tap. No helmet for Olaf. Can't get 99 in one then, I guess. It's just 100 instead. And now Brokey... Not long for this world. Yeah, and asking for a 1v3 out of the guy in normal circumstances, I would find myself kind of somewhat believing here, but... Kind of, kind of somewhat, not at all anymore, right? Tagged on up, Brokey dead on the swing, and Fnatic are now in the lead. Wow. The first time they've been in this position since those Force by Wars even started right back at the beginning. Even then, the best they were able to manage was 1-1. One, one. So, yeah, yeah you know... <laughs> not really in the lead. Not then. really in the lead, right? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Heading into dust to close. Yeah, sweaty game, very close game. Game, but FaZe could reset. Well, I'm already talking about the second map. FaZe, they still should be believing here. Let's see if it means anything, though. Giacchino won't let it happen. And you talk about Rain and his opening deaths, but well, there's another. Yeah, add it to the tally at this point. Carrigan will equalize, oh. but he's dead shortly thereafter. And I think Brolin was a really sound player to highlight, Hugo, by the way. He's taken part in so many opening fights for Fnatic. He's yeah. won the vast majority of them, which was not the case in that first half. Needless to say, he got three rounds. Lovely little boost, but that will trigger Olaf to move in and try to trade this. Brokey blinded, and Olaf's out of there. He's left him to fend for himself, and now oh. they almost line up. The lineup's not needed. Fnatic are on to 15. This was a 12-3 game to face Cloud, and Fnatic are about to 16-13 them. That's like the meme you type when, like, no one's really believing in you. Type, oh, yeah, well, GG, uh, you know, 16-12. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, but no, it's actually going to happen. Oh my god. How are we here? How are we here? I don't have an answer. The resilience you, on this Fnatic yeah. team is incredible. And yeah. FaZe, meanwhile, they have just crumbled like they're made out of, you know, kinetic sand or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, even Alex was saying in that interview, like, oh, I don't, even if we do well here, I don't want to, I don't want to presume this is our, like, base level or, you know, we don't have to work hard. Like, we still want to achieve, we still want to work hard for our goals and we don't want to be overhyped. Man, I'm overhyping this team. I don't care. I'll do it. This is not the first time Fnatic have had a resurgence of form after a slow start. Absolutely impeccable scenes and phase down in the dumps. Guns out at least, but Util already starting to diminish. What is the call? Got this double toilet set up. Even a player at Monster here, yeah, Alex won't go through. For a second, look like maybe Crims could have flashed him in. But why is not to? You don't always want to make that first play happen as a, you know, a B anchor, especially with only two down lower. Let, uh, let the fight go on elsewhere. Let FaZe get confused or concerned about other areas of the map. Let the comms flood before you do something like that. Still two waiting on either side of this smoke. And Carrigan going to send in twists. Yeah, he's up close. Dead to Chiquinho. And once again, by the way, Brolin's at that divider spot. Oh, into the V-bomb oh, site. No Alex way. with the org. Yeah, I was going to say, he can't mow him down again. All right, Rain has carved you a bit of a path here in towards B. The bombs are going to go down. Brolin with the com rotate. If he blindsides Carrigan, if he wins this, this is a very rough spot to be in. Carrigan needs this fight. If you want to keep the dream of an overtime alive, that kill was so important because now Carrigan can play around this bomb. It's planted for him. He can set up on short. No. And he might need to clutch it out after all. Carrigan waiting in the smoke. 
looking to make contact early by the looks of things. Now will actually just tuck himself in at the sandbags. They tap it, but it's not the commitment. It's not the stick. They're trying to bait the peak out of Carrigan. He gives them the fight they wanted, but it's just the tag. He's wasting time. Messi creeping up. And oh! there's one for Carrigan. He's surely done it to time here, and he's going to finish it off. The IGL of FaZe steps up when they need him to the most, and he closes out that 1v2 to keep FaZe in this one after all. Oh, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying round out of FaZe, but Carrigan holds his comeback for Fnatic. They could immediately move into Mirage. FaZe's map pick in the series if they close it here and now. Yeah, the pressure's on now for both teams though, right? Because if you're a fanatic, like, likewise, you're looking at this and you're going, well, we didn't just swim all this way only to die when we reached the shore, right? So, whoo! It's balancing on oh. a knife's edge. Jaquinho has had a great load of impact here in this second half. He's really looking to find himself with this off, but he's trying to get stuck oh, no. in with it early. Oh, Crims is also aggressive. What? Oh, the lineup, Crims! That was two! They leap into the bullets! Nothing can go right for FaZe. And this is looking to be the end. It's looking to be the comeback. Carrigan trying his best.